have one new message. Hi there. Um, I thought I'd call to help you get settled in on your first shift. Um, I actually started out at a Mary's too, you know. Um, it was a while ago at a different building, but still, I know what it's like in there. Um, I should probably fill you in on some of the things we're working on right now. Uh, this place is in the middle of getting a much-needed facelift. Um, if you think it looks outdated now, you should have seen this place a few weeks ago. Um, so far, we've installed all new arcade machines, new kitty rides, a new ball pit, new toilets, everything. Um, you should be able to see some of those on the cameras. Uh, we've spent a small fortune on all this stuff. Um, oh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, let's see. Um, welcome to Mary's Arcade, a magical place where childhood memories are made, where people of all ages can find something to enjoy. Mary's Arcade is not responsible for any damage to property or injuries that occur on or around playtime equipment or by our animatronic mascots. Blah, 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 all of that legal stuff. Um, oh, speaking of our mascots, though, you should probably be aware that they can walk around. I know, I know, sounds dumb, but I'm being serious. Um, they used to let them walk around all the time. But the technology just wasn't good enough back then, and there were too many complaints and lawsuits. Um, but, as part of the new modern image for the company, the owners want to let them walk around during the daytime and interact with customers again. Um, we're still in the process of doing safety tests, though, so in the meantime, they can only walk around at night. Um, they're set to travel in circles around the place, so that does mean at some point they'll pass pretty close to you. Um, you should be totally safe in there, but the last guy insisted that sometimes, instead of passing by the office, they would just stand by the windows and stare at him. Now, uh, I think he was messing with us, but if he was telling the truth, then that could be serious. If they're back there for too long, they might bump into something important and knock out the power. Now, uh, that wouldn't be good for you or them, so if you see them standing there, you're going to have to get them out of there and back on track. Now, uh, if you look above the map on your display, you'll see two little buttons we hooked up to each room. These act as simple remote controls for the mascots, so we can take over if need be. Um, if you play the buzzer on a mascot, it'll be frozen in place until the sound stops. Uh, the PA system there is a bit more complicated. If you play it one zone in front of a mascot, it'll come to that room. Only forwards though, not backwards. Um, so on the off chance that you do see a mascot outside the rear window, try pulling it past the office. Um, that's not too bad, right? Um, hey, watch those recharge times carefully, though. All right? Good night.
have one message. Hi again. Did you see the mascots walking around at all last night? Told you I wasn't lying. They didn't want me to tell you that yesterday. They like to scare the new guys by leaving that part out. So, just be glad you got me recording these for you and not that smelly weirdo Mike. Last time he trained a new guy, they... You know what, never mind. Um, anyway, I forgot to tell you yesterday that there's something else you can do from that room. Um, if you tap and hold on either of those windows, you'll actually turn on a light outside the office. Um, when the mascots are in nighttime mode, any bright light will practically blind them. So that should slow them down substantially. Um, you can do that if the PA system is still recharging and you need to buy yourself more time. Um, that, that should work as long as the light doesn't get too dim, of course. Uh, so watch that battery. Um, also, speaking of the mascot's nighttime mode, it turns out that they might not properly recognize you as an employee in the dark. So um, they probably think you're a customer who wandered into a staff area or an intruder. Heck, they might even think you're a costumeless mascot. But if they get to you, they'll probably try to forcefully detain you, to put it lightly. Um, hey, if they do get into that room, try going limp. They might not recognize you as a person at all in that case. Though, then they might think you're an empty costume and try to take you apart. Uh, you, you know what? Don't do that. Just keep them out of there, alright? Be safe.
have one new message. Hey, um, I have some more advice for you. It may not be a bad idea to use the buzzer all around the building instead of just right next to the office. Holding the mascots back at any point in the place gives you more time for your PA system to recharge. So don't rely too heavily on your lights. Um, anyway, we had some power flickers today. Now, we were fine, but it occurred to me that you might not know what to do in that situation. So, this is very important. If the power goes out, just hang in there. Don't try to get up and leave and try not to make a sound. The generator should kick on in a minute or so, and if they don't, the daytime crew will get there in the morning to rescue you, all right? Um, good night. Actually, I almost forgot. Have you seen anything strange in that staff room to the left of the office? Maybe I'm just going crazy, but I swear I locked that door last night.
have one new message. Hey, are you all right? Yesterday we found Mary powered down in the office when we got there. We all fear the worst, but you had already left. Not that you were in any real danger, of course. Um, anyway, there's been a development here. You know Scarlet, the last mascot on the stage, the deer with the bonnet and the hand basket? Turns out she was never fully activated, so that should be fixed now. Uh, but she acts differently than the other two. Um, she seems to be immune to both your systems. We're not sure why. Um, the only thing she does respond to is being stared at. Uh, all the mascots know when they're being stared at, it's how they know when to talk or to play a little song. But Scarlet just sort of reverses course. Guess she's camera shy. Um, if you see her, try staring her down in the cameras. Uh, since Mary got in yesterday, it's probably not a good idea to let Scarlet near the office either. Um, anyway, try to be extra careful tonight. There's a lot to struggle around.
have one new message. Hey, congrats. You made it through your first week. Just six more hours. Um, hey, could you do me a favor? If you see any more strange behavior from the mascots, could you report it to me? I'm trying to get them shut down. Temporarily, of course. Um, I, I talked to the owners about all the safety issues with them not recognizing employees and how they've been wandering into the office and other rooms they shouldn't be able to get into and how Scarlet is just unresponsive, but they didn't seem to care. In fact, they already announced the grand debut of everything for next Monday, so the whole day crew will have to think of some way to make sure the mascots don't wreck anything or hurt anyone. Uh, maybe a few more examples of odd behavior will get them to reschedule, though. Hey, did you see that Little World game, though? Someone dug up an ancient floppy disk of Mary's Magical Forest. Uh, I, I could never get past level 3. Maybe you can, though. I've never been good at video games. Look, just make it through the next six hours. I'll try to figure something out.
one new message. Hey, uh, we were able to work out a plan for Monday. Um, we have a bunch of spare mascots in the storage room, and we we're going to swap out some of the older parts on the trio to see if that fixes their behavior. Um, we won't be able to install anything until after the debut, though, so we're just going to have lots of staff making sure they don't get too close to anyone. Um, it's foolproof, and after closing time, we can make all the repairs. It's just one shift. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Boom. Mm -hmm.